Hello and welcome back to the Poppy Palmer vlog. Today I'm going to be doing another cake baking tutorial and today it's double chocolate eclairs. I've never made these before, they are quite hard but if we do it together I'm sure we'll get it done and we'll see how they turn out. So to start off with I'm going to be making the chocolate filling and for that I've got 200 grams of melted chocolate. I've actually used lint chocolate to give it extra rich taste. And to that I'm going to be adding 200 grams of Philadelphia cream cheese and that's at room temperature so it should mix in quite smoothly. So just pop the cream cheese in with the melted chocolate and stir those two together. Make sure there's no white lumps left at the end. That takes longer than I thought. I'm just going to get a whisk to finish that off. There's the mixture, what it should look like. It's quite smooth and very chocolatey. And I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge until it's cold. Okay, so the next stage is to make the shoe pastry. And on the stove top, I've got 50 grams of unsalted butter, four tablespoons of whole milk, and four tablespoons of cold water and I'm just going to heat those to boiling point and then whisk to stir. As you can see, it's just coming to boiling point. And what I'm going to do next is take it off the heat, add 100 grams of plain flour, one teaspoon of sugar and a little pinch of salt and I'm going to beat that until it's really smooth. So it's just come to boiling. I'm going to take it off the heat, tip in the flour, sugar and salt and I'm going to give that a good whisk. and you want to cook out the flour so make sure you do give it a really good whisk And that should be enough. So I've just taken my shoe pastry mixture off the hob. It still looks the same. And what I'm going to do now is add three beaten eggs gradually though, because sometimes you don't need all of the egg. So what I'm going to do is tip a little bit in, probably about one egg, and I'm going to beat that together. <laughs> and I'm going to add probably half of what I've got left 
and that should be enough. out of your whisk. <laughs> so once your shoe pastry is completely mixed, what we're going to do now is put it into a piping bag. And I find it easier to put it into a little measuring jug if you're doing this by yourself because then it doesn't go everywhere. So you get your mixture. It's really quite sticky and pop it into the bag. My mixture is very yellow because I've used really good eggs so the yolks are quite orange. But don't worry if your shoe pastry isn't this colour. Okay. Ganache. 
and you just want to stir it until all the chocolate's melted so it doesn't have any lumps in it anymore. So as you can see, it's all nice and melted now. And the last thing we have to add is 25 grams of unsalted butter. And I'm just going to pop that in and let that melt in the chocolate and cream mixture. So I'm just taking my eclairs out of the oven and this is the first time I've ever made shoe pastry. So I'm actually quite happy with them. They've risen well and they're nice and brown and they took exactly 15 minutes. So what another technique I learned online was to let the steam out. So what I've done is got like a little thermometer and just pricked each end of the eclairs just to release the steam. They are very hot. <laughs> okay, so the eclairs are made, the glaze is made, and the chocolate filling is also made. So the last thing to do is put it all together. So, my clothes have been sitting on the side for about 10 minutes, so they're nice and cool now. And I've just got a little Wolstoff serrated knife, and I'm just going to cut into one side, not all the way through, just halfway, and open up the little eclair. And I've put my Philadelphia and melted chocolate mixture into a piping bag, and it's nice and cool now, so what I'm going to do is pipe into that. Make sure you get enough in there. Lovely. And the next thing to do is tip it upside down into the glaze, which was the double cream and the melted chocolate mixture. Make sure you get a good coating on that. And there you have a little eclair. They actually look really nice. <laughs> so just repeat the process until all of those are done. So I'm just going to do a close up of the eclair. So again, I'm cutting it in half, just halfway, opening it up. Got my piping bag. chocolate in there. Oh, it moved for me. That was handy. <laughs> and I'm going to do two layers. So you get lots of the chocolate cream inside. And the last thing I'm going to do is get the chocolate and dip it in there. And there's a little eclair. So that's it for today's cake baking vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it and please do try to make the double chocolate eclairs at home. They're really easy. If you've liked any of the products you've seen on today's show and for the best bakeware brands online at the moment, please visit www.poppyparma.com. Also, please follow me on all my social media, especially my YouTube channel and my Instagram, which is filled with really good recipes and heaps of pretty pictures of cakes and the new trendiest bakeware. So tune in for next time. Bye!